Hello? No, I can't hear you. Hello? Hey, what's up? It's Matt Rayfield, and welcome to Matthew Rayfield World on the Matthew Rayfield Internet Television Channel. Today, I have for you, I have for you a little web experiment that I did, a little, little JavaScript, a little web development. It all started with with me thinking about emojis because you know you can put you can put emojis in a lot of places that maybe maybe you don't think that you can like you can actually put them in a URL. So if you go to matthewrefill.com slash kissy face, you you might get you might get something like this. I don't know. That's it's possible you might get that. But but then I was thinking that you know if you add some JavaScript, if you use a little JavaScript to manipulate the URL Maybe things could get interesting. So I, I, with this idea, I was looking at, I was looking at emojis, right? I was looking at these emojis, and some of these might be interesting to animate, right? So we got the clock, we got, uh, we got the moon. The moon's kind of cool. Maybe I could do like a, like a spinning moon, right? So, so I wrote that little JavaScript, and then I got spinning moon right here in a URL. I mean, your URL is moving. Have you ever seen a URL move on a page? Maybe, maybe you have. I, I doubt it, but it's possible you have. But I don't think you've ever seen spinning moon in a URL like that, and that's and that's really something. Yo, so I didn't explain that super well. What I'm doing with JavaScript is updating the hash part of the URL uh, very rapidly with a different sequence of emojis or characters, so it looks like it's animated, but it's really that hash just getting updated super fast uh, through JavaScript. So, so, so then I was thinking just. What other things? I mean, you saw the clock. We looked at the clock, right? There's a clock emoji right there. So you can do a little spinning clock, right? Boom. There's a spinning clock. Hmm. So then I was just thinking, all right, let's, what if we do multiple, multiple emojis, right? And we got, we have, emojis have skin tone modifiers. I don't know if you know that. So like if you put a bunch of babies, you got these colorful babies dancing around on your, on your URL. And that's, and I like that. That's nice. Or maybe you're looking for something a little, a little old school, or something like a like a GeoCities MySpace vibe. So we got these these kissing emojis. It's it's darling. It's it's delightful. Put that on your your website, and people are gonna tell their friends about it. Maybe. But then I thought, you know, it's not just, it's not just emojis that we can do. There's all kinds of bizarro characters out there. So I started looking around. On Wikipedia, as as you do, so I looked at these block, block characters, box sorry, box drawing characters. We got these. These are kind of interesting. These um, I don't know what you call those lines, corners, edges, and we got these. These these are called block elements here. We've got like one that you can control the height. We got one you control the width of. We've got some other random ones. And so then I was thinking with these height ones, if you can make different heights, what if you could make them like wavy? You know, you could you could you do a little sine wave action and make like a wavy URL. So I went ahead and I, I made wavyurl.com. And you go there and look at that URL. That is that not describe exactly what the website is? It's a wavy URL. And that's something. That's something to look at. If you want to look at a wavy URL, you can just go to wavyurl.com and take a look. Hmm. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So then I thought, all right, that's all just silliness, right? I mean, wavy URL, wavy. It's not useful. It's just, it's just for, it's just for glitz and glamour. And we want something substantial to do with this newfound technology of ours. So I thought, what about progress bar? Your page is loading. What if the, what if the URL? showed that. So this of course just moves back and forth. But you can imagine maybe as your page loads that the URL goes boop or it doesn't go boop, it just goes boop and then the page loads. So you could do that with these block characters. Pretty nice. And then what if you want what if you want to go back to emoji world, right? We got the moons. Moon progress bar. There's all kinds of progress bars out there. And even even I don't know if you know this yeah, I'm sure you, you know this, but but like the little the little uh, twirlers that you have for loading, do you know those are called throbbers? At least Mozilla calls them throbbers. I think that's gross. But so we can make a throbber here. 
There's a throbber. That's that's not really a throbber. That's that could be a throbber. Um, it, it progress bar, so you know to display loading. So that's really great. The moons, wow, I like the moons. That's my favorite one. So then, if we have a progress bar, what else? What else is like a progress bar that we might want to do? So then I got to thinking, you know what? What about the scrubber on a video? What if we did that in the URL? Never been done before. World's first, right here. Boom. Check this out. Got the video playing, one of my videos, of course. And and we've got the URL showing the progress of the video. Is this useless? Probably. Yeah, it's probably useless. But look how cool that is. And pretty, too. I really spent a lot of time getting the right combination of characters. And I think it looks nice. We've got the time output there. I mean, this is just never been done before. I mean, really something that you want to look at and you want to use on your own website. I know. I know this. And, and I said it wasn't useful, and it is not. But it could also be, like, if you were to make this, like YouTube, right? You can, you, when you share a URL, you can pick the time that you want the URL to go to. But imagine if the URL showed it visually like this. It wouldn't be really very helpful, but it would be cool. And you could even parse this URL and get the progress from it and then open up the video uh, to that point. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. But then, of course, I had to do it with the moons, right? I mean, I had to go back to the moons. So here's, here's your video. and shows the video progress. It's not playing. shows the video progress with moons. I mean, did you ever even think you would see something like that before? Did you wake up this morning and say, today I'm going to see video progress displayed with moon emojis. <sighs> Incomprehensible. Just truly amazing. Mm. Well, that's, uh, that was the end of my experimentation for now. But, but you know, I mean, I've got, I've got the video element interacting with the URL. And so I am thinking about about could I make a game? Could I make a game that runs in the URL bar exclusively? I mean, I, you know, it takes input on the page, but the display, the game itself, you look at the URL bar. And um, I've been doing some work on that. So, so that that's coming up in a in a further in a future video. Um, maybe not my next video, but but that's coming up. That's coming up. So that's all I got for you today. I, ho I hope you enjoyed that. I like to do experimental stuff with the web. Uh, oh, oh wait, actually, one more thing. Tangentially related to the just emojis. Did you know that you can adopt an emoji? You know like they have those road adoption, adopt the highways. You can adopt an emoji for like five grand officially. Like, where was it? Like, yeah, some dude named Jason Jenkins paid five grand to adopt the poop emoji. That's serious. That really happened. So, um, so shout outs to uh, Jason Jenkins for adopting the poop emoji. I'm glad it found a, a what I'm sure is a lovely home with uh, Jason. Some of these other ones are weird, but Google adopted burgers. Go Google can afford it. They can afford to adopt burger. Okay. All right. Well, I think we learned something today, and if not, then I hope at least found this vaguely amusing. Um, I'm hey, put, hey! I'm gonna put uh, a link to a to the code for this this video in the description, and um, and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you uh, like this video. That'd be that'd be great. That helped me. And uh, if you want to see more stuff, more more weirdo web experiments and and various things with technology and the like, uh, subscribe to this channel. You know, hey. It uh, won't hurt you. It'll make you feel good, actually. It'll make you feel good to subscribe. Okay? Okay, bye. Oh, bye.